So this is a Z80 computer which I've made in order to be able to program a bit like an Altair 8800. So it's just got a CPU and a RAM chip, but it doesn't have a ROM chip, uh, but you program it using switches and LEDs. Um, so I'll d demonstrate it and I'll go through uh, the process that I used to, in order to get to this point, um, what, the, what I wanted to achieve and uh, the history of, of the project. Um, so I, I got some PCBs made for it, um, which are, are this here. Uh, and this is just the first version. I knew there was going to be some changes to it, which needed to be made. Um, so, uh, but then luckily, so, so far through testing, there's uh, not been many changes I've need to make. Uh, so up the back here, I've got a monostable, a dual monostable multivibrator, which just debounces a couple of the keys. So the increment address and the memory write needed uh, to be debounced. I kind of knew that that would need to be done before I actually ordered the PCBs, um, but I thought you know, I, I'm, I'm not too bothered about it because I know I'm going to have to send off for some more PCBs just as I iron out uh, any issues on there. So I'm a bit way through testing. At the minute, I've tested up to programming the, the, pro, uh, the computer without uh, any ROMs and, uh, and just running the test program, which I'll demonstrate now. Uh, but doing uh, testing the peripheral ICs, which are at the back, I haven't tested that. And also there's a feature in the middle here which I haven't tested yet either. So the demonstration program, which I'm going to enter into this uh, computer, is um, bit, uh, part of a program called Kill the Bits, which is on the Altair 8800. Uh, and, but I've just taken the bit which uh, flashes the LEDs on the front here in the top address byte. And it, it just rotates the LEDs going round and round and round. Uh, and uh, just to demonstrate that I can actually program it uh, through the switches without needing a, a ROM to be present uh, and actually run the program. So this is the Kill the Bits program for the Altair 8800. Uh, and this is a, a just a conversion I've done so that I've taken out the input statement so it doesn't have to read the port and it should just strobe the LEDs on the upper address lines of the CPU. Uh, so I'll switch on the computer. Uh, it's in run mode at the minute and there's obviously nothing in the in the memory. So I'll go into program mode and uh, I need to enter these values here. So 210000. D6, oh sorry, One A, one A, one A, one A. Oh nine. D two, oh eight, oh oh. Seven A zero F five seven. C three O eight O So 
So now when I go into run mode and hit reset and you see the bit strobing across the high, high byte of the address line. So that program is running. So the program, uh, the computer can be programmed uh, with just the, the switches, no need for an EEPROM. So the reason I wanted to do this project was about 30 years ago, I started this uh, project and uh, I only got so far, then I probably lost interest or something. Uh, I, I can't really remember what it was for. I think it was for programming uh, EEPROMs at the time it was going to be, because EEPROM programs at the time were really expensive. Uh, but anyway, it never really got any further than that. So I went to come back and, and actually complete a Z80 computer project. Uh, but then uh, at the beginning of this year, I started watching videos from this guy, uh, his YouTube channel, DRAMP5113. And he does a lot of um, videos on the Altair 8800. And that got me really interested because on the Altair 8800, you just use the front panel switches to program it. You don't actually need an EEPROM uh, inside it. Uh, so I wanted, I decided actually, if I was going to do a Z80 project, I wanted to be able to program it without the need to actually have, be able to program an EEPROM and, and run it. Although later on, I probably, uh, I do want to actually run some EEPROMs on this project as well. Uh, but this was the, the one of the first um, reasons why I want to actually come back and actually do a Z80 project. Uh, and also, uh, I started also listening to videos well they're not videos they're more podcasts but they're on youtube from this guy advent of computing and he's done a history of um intel processors from the 4004 which was probably pretty much the first um released to the public uh, microprocessor uh, and it goes through the lifespan of 8008 and then the 8080 which is what's in the altair 8800 and then it goes all the way on to ibm pc compatibles which um the family of processors in IBM compatible computers today as well. So the actual most desktop computers these days actually uh, hark back to the Altair 8800 processor and, and then before to the Intel 4004, which was uh, pretty much the first commercially available microprocessor.